Well, hello there, Taurus. It looks like after so much change and a surprise lesson that you didn't see coming puts you on the path for new, so much new. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Taurus tarot reading. It's a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. If you are interested in the extended to this video or in personal readings, there's links to those in the description box below. Sweetheart. Oh, I know where this is going. Number 20 reduced to a two. Yep. Know where this is going. Silver Siren, number 37, goes to a 10, back down to a 1. I feel this one in my soul. This is for a Taurus that's been hurt pretty deeply, pretty deeply by someone who is never supposed to hurt them. Hmm. Those that are closest to us, right, hurt us the most. There's something here that it's almost like um, <sighs> the repetition of a lesson that you didn't know was a lesson, let alone being repeated, because you didn't expect it to happen with whoever it happened here. Ugh. I'm getting, I'm getting some indications of narcissism manipulation yeesh okay if we're going that route let's go big for sweetheart it says you have known violence in your life maybe on the outside maybe on the inside with a mind that has tortured you with fear shame darkness and doubt enough of that now it's time for a gentler way. Less pain, more gain. No more torture. It's time for your sweets and treats. Hell yes. <laughs> Hell yes. Okay. Silver Siren. It says, when is an enchantment not enchanting? When it is a spell that you allow to consume your free will, even as it promises so much and yet delivers so little. The silver siren sings her song, a pretty poison to the soul. Her false allure tempts the mind, even whilst the heart feels that something's not quite right. Your power will come from discerning the truth and allowing her false promises no place in your heart. There's something here where you hit some sort of growth stride. And when you went when you re went back to this connection in some kind, I'm not even get that this is necessarily a lover. Let's say if it's a friend or a family member, like you went off and learned some sort of not fun lesson and you're like, okay, I'm done with that. Never again. And then you go to this person to catch up, whatever. And some time goes into this and you start to wake up to see that. Wait, wait, wait shadows of that lesson of that kind of behavior that's a red flag is coming up in this person that it was like never supposed to come through this person yeesh all right let's go let's go all right show me what's going on with taurus please Show me what's going on with Taurus, please. <sighs> yeah, Five of Swords underneath. Everybody else reads Five of Swords as negative on it on its own. And I, I've always I learned to read as it read it as a positive for over 14 years now. It means no contest, competition, you're going to win. But there's a bitter sweetness to this. There's pain to this win. It's a painful win. Okay. 
Okay. Knave of coins. Three of wands. Star. Aquarian energy. Hierophant. There's you showing up in your energy, which is why I'm not worried about you. <laughs> Knave of wands. King of cups. Two of coins. I'm reading this is you. This is not them, actually. This is not them. This is someone else. There's at least a third person here. And that's the situation between you. This feels like negotiation. Perhaps for a job? Roommate situation? Something? Something? Whatever the next step is beyond this silver siren? You're not letting anyone know that you are interacting with this emperor. Either that or you are shielding your negotiations from an emperor. Aries energy. I'm, I know you're going to be fine because you keep showing up as you. King of Pentacles, Hierophant. You keep showing up as you. So you know you could navigate you out of this. Whatever this is. Okay. Let's see. Because you know, you know the right thing is going to come in. Again, why? that's why I'm not worried about you. There's something around this King of Cups, though. This is why we clarify. The more you talk with this person, the more they're determined to work with you. So your value has been properly showcased, whether this is a personal or professional thing. Okay. That they've picked up hardworking, no nonsense, all of the things that we are, right? Show me the details of the Knave of Coins, please. Temperance card of Sag. Sun, that's Leo energy, double Leo with the strength card. Judgment. Four of coins. Oh, good job. So proud of you. If you've been job searching for a while, if you've been looking for a next step for a while, new roommate, new place, whatever this is, okay, you were really diligent at keeping eye on the prize through the process and really committing what it's, to what it is that you were looking for. As a result, fate delivers. Beautiful. Good business decisions come out of it. Four of coins. Show me the three of wands for Taurus, please. Chariot card of cancer. Two of swords. Going towards this, it's quite the risk. There's some of you Tauruses that have strong cap in your chart. Um, it's quite the risk, but taking the risk stabilizes your energy again and your coin. Okay, because you're showing me perhaps your coin was tied to this emperor that you're avoiding letting them know your game plan. Okay. So you were able to detach those two things from each other. Show me the Hierophant, please. Knave of Cups, Six of Coins. You're giving yourself some time. Good job. You're giving yourself time, if you are going to say like a new job, you're giving yourself time in that new space to allow your energy to unfold and expand. You don't have to be all out going all at once or anything like that. It's like you can feel your heart space. You can feel that it's there. You can feel that it's like more available than perhaps you realize. But as you give this time for your energy to expand once again, because you, it feels like you contracted it, pulled it in so tight because you had to protect your energy. And now that you could breathe that you're letting it bloom back out, but it's not going to happen in a day. You're giving yourself time, which is good because it ensures abundance and prosperity for you. Okay. Being conscious of this, methodical about it. Good idea. Show me the King of Cups, please. Mm hmm. Ace of Cups, Lovers, Gemini Energy. Five of Swords, Six of Wands. So, although transitioning away from the Silver Siren is a bittersweet victory, it's a win that hurts you. A win that makes you happy is going to come in and change places with it. 
a new lover. King of Cups, emotionally available, secure, and mature. <laughs> Ace of Cups, lovers. Wow. This is some, uh huh. This is someone that feels like they've only got eyes for you. They're just so happy that you're there, that you've arrived on their path. Okay. Which is very nice after all Taurus has been through, right? Okay. Let's get into this side. Show me the star, please. Show me the star. <laughs> Knight of Swords, Ten of Swords. Ooh. Queen of Cups, King of Cups. Knight of Cups. Ooh, going to romance you. <laughs> going, yep. Got it. If y'all are coworkers, they see how your energy, like you're coming in as air. And it's not that they're not like, usually like King of Swords comes up when, um, when you're at work in a professional environment, right? Okay. Um, this, this is showing me that um, they understand there's going to be more steps to this process. Like they understand that your energy is unfolding. They're not going to be able to catch and keep you in any kind of quick way. Okay. Um, they understand that what it is that they, what offer or negotiations is on the table needs to hurry up because they want you around, they want to finish whatever deal this is, whether again, it's, whether it's a lease, a job, whatever, they want to finish this up as quickly as possible because that makes, that makes your energy around them more often sooner. Okay. Show me the Knave of Wands, please. Show me the Knave of Wands. Two of Swords, Ace of Swords. Two of Cups, Six of Wands. They see this so clearly. This is a soul bond. The more I learn, the more I like. This is a huge win. I need to attract and keep this. <laughs> it's a game changer. Show me the two of pentacles, please. Nine of wands. Justice. Six of cups. It feels like they've been looking for a while. Keeping their eyes peeled for the right partner for a while. Justice card of Libra. So what is the deal that's extended to Taurus? A good one. You're happy. Queen of Wands, Seven of Swords, but you got to keep it to yourself. But you're still showing up as you. Because you know there are eyes on you. You don't know to what degree, but you know they're on you. So you have to take measured steps. Moon card of Pisces, King of... Oh. <laughs> Aquarius, Taurus, Libra, Leo, energy. Show me, show me what he's got the courage to say, because that comes out of nowhere. Hey, can we make this more than a three of cups, a platonic thing? He, Aquarius, energy again. Um, he associates, he wants to be very generous to you, just period across the board. Because it almost came up as like, if you're moving into a new place, like relocating to a city to take a new job kind of thing, almost like giving you like a housewarming gift or something and just continuously being generous to you. Because he sees this connection as the real, the real deal, the real investment. You keep this person up at night. Leo energy again. Leo, Leo energy. Double Leo. Okay. They're waiting for your energy to expand a bit further. They look forward to seeing that. Is there anything that Taurus needs to know about the situation they're transitioning from? Do 
don't worry about the choices ahead. You're going to have new foundation that it's going to make easy for those choices to be made. A, um, Sagittarius energy for those keeping track. Anything else? You're going to be free before you know it. Yeah, it's going to hurt a little bit. But where you're going, lovers, four cups, divine opportunity, that's going to change everything. Judgment, ten of pentacles. You're finding that partner, double on the lovers. You're finding that partner that's either long-term work, long-term love, or both. There's your karmic justice, babe. Okay. I'm going to head over to the extended. We're going to look into this one because I'm liking this one. <laughs> As a Taurus sun finding an energy that just wants to be generous to you. Hey, welcome. Pull up a chair. Stay a while. <laughs> I'm going to see what's going on with them in their current energy near future. And the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye.